Hey guys, this is an awesome new R tip on this package called Data Pasta. And this is a secret of the pros. I gotta be honest. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is copying and pasting HTML tables. So it's like the poor man's version of web scraping right with a, uh, just working with like tables and HTML. Um, so to give you an idea of what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make this chart here with revenue and millions for the largest companies by copying and pasting HTML tables from the internet. Uh, so this is really cool. We're gonna do it with data pasta. Let's get started. Um, so we're going to first do a get pull and that's gonna pull down the latest changes and we will you will get a file that looks like this. That's gonna be located in our home directory, free R tips. And we're gonna scroll down here to 032 data pasta. Click that, open it up, and then open this, this .r file and you'll be set to go. Um, also, if you don't see the outline, just click this and it'll open right up. So um, to get started here, uh, what you need to do, definitely sign up for the weekly art tips. You'll get these art tips every week. Um, I have a link down below. Um, the libraries that we're gonna be working today for the data pasta, uh, number one is gonna be data pasta. So you're gonna wanna install this and then you may need to reset your R session because we're gonna be using this add-in for data pasta called paste as triple and we're gonna also do paste as data table. Um, so let's check this out. So when you install this, make sure to restart your R session, refresh it, um, and, and make sure that this add-in shows up. Um, load these libraries. I'm going to load these. Control Enter. Uh, we got the Tidyverse, Lubridate, and TimeTK. Lubridate and TimeTK are for time series. TimeTK is my package. And then Tidyverse is the um, uh, core package that we use for everything. So we're going to first... Uh, copy and paste an HTML table for some stock data. So there are many other ways, including the tidyquant library, which is also one of my packages to get this data, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it with just kind of normal copying and pasting. So we're gonna copy this um, website and we're gonna head over to Yahoo Finance and we're going to paste it right in here and scroll down. And this is the table that I want to grab. So I'm going to grab several, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll grab down to about here or so. And I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to head back over to R. Okay, I'm back in R and I can see right here I've got the stock data with the assignment operator. I'm going to, um, instead of uh, pasting, what I'm going to do is go to add-ins and paste as triples. So that's the first one. So what this does is it pastes all that data that we just got from that HTML table. And if I open this a little bit larger, it's kind of got this weird format, but it's for the triple. The cool thing is, is if I just run this, hit control and enter, um, that sends it down to the console here. And then if I uh, hit control and enter on stock data, I can see that data is now available in my R. So cool, I've just now saved data from an HTML table. So if you've been doing web scraping in the past, this is so much easier. Um, and then I can uh, then analyze this. So what I'm gonna first do is take my stock data, I'm gonna change this date column over to uh, a date value, so month, day, year from the Lubridate package. Hit Control and Enter, that makes us a date column. And then as soon as I have a date and some values, what I can do is use plot time series from my time TK package. So hit control and enter. And here I have the daily volumes over the past, um, uh, we'll say week or a uh, couple of weeks now. So um, pretty cool. I've got uh, all that data just right in R, uh, but it gets even better. So there's uh, Wikipedia, this thing called Wikipedia that has tons of tables on it um, for anything from like the S&P 500 index uh, to the largest companies in the world. And that's actually what we're going to focus on next. So I'm going to take this data here uh, and just delete it out. And I'm going to prove to you that we can um, get the largest companies by revenue. So I'm going to copy this website and I'm going to head over to Chrome. Okay, so I've just put in the uh, top largest companies uh, website. It gives me this Wikipedia page for the largest companies by revenue. And this is a kind of a crazy one. So a lot of times in HTML, you'll see these kind of split um, columns and this can throw off the, um, the data pasta. But what's cool is if you just skip that row and say, I wanna grab the top 10 here. So I'm just gonna do control copy 
and we're gonna head back over to R. So now I what I did was I skipped, I just went to the first line and then I, I'm gonna do paste as data table. And you can see what it did here is it made a data table for me. So I've got all, and it gave it column names, V1, V2, and so on. So if I do control and enter, and then just take a look at the output there, I can see it pulled it right in as a data table and it gave it its own column names and everything. Um, so cool, I'm gonna be taking a look at V2, which is the, um, the company name and V4, which is the uh, amount of revenue that that company has made in millions of dollars. So 559, uh, so 559 billion dollars, uh, cause this is in millions. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, okay, cool. So I'm gonna take my largest companies now and I'm going to do some mutations. Uh, so this is data wrangling it with the plier. What I did was I parsed out the numeric value here for V4 and um, I also made V2 a factor. So when I plot it, it plots correctly. And then I'm just using a little bit of ggplot code, ggplot2 code, so control enter. And we make this awesome chart here with the largest companies in the world. And you can see Walmart is totally crushing it. Um, cool, so if you wanna learn more how to do this um, in R, so say you're a new user, uh, you want some learning recommendations, here's some tips. I do have several courses out there. If you're interested in learning the basics, uh, learning Tidyverse Foundations, that's R for Business Analysis, the DS4B101-R course. Uh, also, if you're interested in learning time series, so like what we did over here made this interactive plot. This is actually a time series plot. I teach how to do that in my high performance time series course, DS4B203-R. And then finally, if you want to go from beginner to expert, I have all these courses as a package. It's called my five course art track. Check that out.